I thought that I send you these files concerning composition from scratch workshop. So first, let me tell you how I got to this course. I was looking for ways to get out of my feeling of reaching a plateau in my orchestration skills. So I was doing the orchestration modules. And in this one, you suggest, you give a link to mark orchestration of your sketch. But in order for us to access the orchestration, we have to do the course. Because <laughs> we, we cannot access the material unless we've completed the previous lessons. So I did this course, which was an eye op opener actually, both in composition and in orchestration. So let me show you what I did. I, well, actually, I strictly follow the instruction. It will not be hard to follow. I wrote a diatonic string in the Aeolian. So that's my first step. And interval one. I made a, only a slight change. So if we check the intervals here, we've got minus two, minus two, minus two, minus three. And instead of me following, keeping up the same string, I just started with plus two from this note here. So plus two, but the rest is the same string. Okay. Analyzing this, there's a fifth here, and this is the natural sixth, and minus third. So we're into B flat Dorian. Next step was to add the harmony underneath the melody. Then to add proper voicing and voice leading and position change. Also with a complementary rhythm to the melody. Since my piece was not in Lydian, so it's Aeolian and Dorian, I had to find the corresponding pentatonic major in order to use them as substitute for uh, these voicings here. This is the logic behind finding the corresponding pentatonic major scales. And then I've changed, as you can see, some of the original voicings with the pentatonic major ones. Only difference here, we had to do a turnaround. So I've used the 3 plus 3 simply because I like the sound going back to D minor. Let's hear that. Okay, not bad. Yeah, sounds good already. Then, expanding on the material. So, this was our starting point. I did exactly what you did, which is use the part of the original material where there's a, a change. So, this, this was it. I repeated the F, D flat, F, D flat, then repeat this whole string, and then I did these to measure. And in this extension, if I can say that, I've inserted a motor in the inner voices. Let's hear that. The starting point.
Yes, as you can tell, I did exactly the same thing as you did, which is take the whole thing, put it down one octave, and do minus one, just as a, a repeat of the A section, kind of. Now, finalizing the sketch. First of all, let me talk about this. So this is the first A section. This is the one transposed in another register, minus one. Then we had to do a B section with three-part line writing. This is it. I also added a brief A repeat and a little outro to finish the piece. So let's hear that. Yes, love it, really. Sounds very good. Then the orchestration. So, as you might recall, I was coming from the orchestration course. When I, I did this, I colored everything <laughs> according to the functions. So, you've got the melody here, harmony, little motor, then there's melody and uh, side lines. I wrote that as a decoration. It's playing the melody, but it's playing melody as kind of an echo, uh, using a pizza uh, articulation. So here's the melody. And uh, I'm using this. F for me, it was more of a decoration than uh, an actual playing of the melody. Let's hear that. Okay, yeah, I really love it. I, I think it sounds great. And uh, one thing that I, uh, I can tell is that going through this whole process of the orchestration modules and this course, I ended up finding myself doing a much more lighter orchestration. Well, actually, the three-part line writing was an eye-opener for me because uh, I, I really find that you can write some material that's great for animation if we just have a listen to this portion maybe yeah this is the portion i'm talking about now we're in locrian different vibe okay Anyway, that's it for uh, this lesson. 
great material again. So talk to you later. Okay, bye.